And without any further ado, Candace Woodson's in the building. Welcome, sister. How are you? Well, hello. Thank you for the invite. Thank you for blessing us with your beauty and your vitality. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. You're here in New York City. Um, you uh, had the beautiful honor. I, I haven't had the chance to meet uh, Miss Valerie Simpson yet. Wow. No, I know I haven't. But uh, you played at her at her at her establishment up on the Upper West Side, which is called the Sugar Bar. The Sugar Bar. Yes. And um, was that your first time at the show? I've been there before. I've been there to watch Tony Terry perform. I've been there uh, a couple of times, as a matter of fact. Uh, intro, I've seen them perform there. But it's, it, I, I know it's, it's, it reminds me, it's, it's the, whole, the, the whole New York old school essence of, you know, a crowded restaurant yes. like, the, like the Supper Club used to be. Was that your first time there? That was my first time there, and you're right, it's all of that. Yes, it's very intimate and just dope and the energy. Yes. I, so before we talk about anything else, your music, your wardrobe malfunction, everything, I, the first thing I want to talk to you about, what was it like being on stage with Valerie Simpson in the audience? It's an experience that I don't think I've really digested it yet. Right. Because it's one of those once in a lifetime. Yes. It's one of those, uh, there's no words to yes. express. But it, it happened. Yeah, it happened. It happened. Right. A and thank mm. God for video. Right. Because it happened. Right. Now, <laughs> something special happened when your performance ended. Yes. Somebody came on stage and gave you a big hug. I saw it all. What was... I got to hear this. Come on now. Oh, okay. So first Drop of, the juice. Okay, okay. I got to bring it up. Yes. I meet Valerie Simpson and yes. I say, hi, I'm Candace Woodson. Mm -hmm. And she says to me, so you're Candace Woodson. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Wow. That sets the tone yes. right there. And I said, well, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to sing the song together. She said, no, you're going to sing it. Oh. And so what I'm, song was this? This is the Trying to Be Perfect, mm -hmm. which is original written by she and Nick Ashford. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's a remake. And okay, it's a well, remake. That she, she was did. like, uh-uh, we're not doing this together. She, she wanted to sit back in and watch you do your thing. That's what she did and performed the song. And once it was over, I looked over at her. She immediately gets up, oh. heads my way, gives me an embrace and a kiss. Wow. Hello. You know, I mean, it's from a, for, to, to be an artist, to be celebrated by legends like Valerie Simpson. I mean, that's got to be like the, the top of the pops. Oh, it's the top. You know, you will have I will have other uh, events to happen in my life. Yes. But, you know, like the, the birth of my children, mm -hmm. but that never changes. Right. That's still the highlight. Right. So no matter the Grammys, the Oscars, whatever, right. this still will be the highlight. Exactly. You because know, this is this is this is. Valerie Simpson giving you her seal of approval for a song that she wrote. The validation. The valid you know, it's all about that. Yes, That's from, all about from that. the legend herself. Right, exactly. You know? That's what I'm saying. Wow. So there's no topping that with someone just telling me, oh, I liked your performance. Right, right. Oh, I liked your song. Right. No, but you didn't allow me to do a song that was written by you. Right. And you allowed me to do it in a way and give it my own exactly twist, yes. and then you approved you approved right that's that's gotta have been a moment i'm oh, sorry yeah. that i missed that so um what, wardrobe malfunction <laughs> what, what, what that what, i didn't think i'd hear that ever again after 2014 oh and, and, see, and i know 2004 Jan wait a minute and i know janet is your girl yes i mean yes. so I, I i and i'm aware of that but things happen yep that's so so what's your story do you care to share well I, sharing I'll, is caring. I'll share as much as I can okay. without it being offensive. We offend here. <laughs> so just, just share, and I'll stop you if I feel like it's too much. What happened, honey? Well, I'm getting dressed, okay. and we're at the, at the at the hotel. Okay. And we're, you know, having to rush because we have a, a cab that we, we're going to catch a cab. Right, right, right. So I was supposed to have been there, and it was like, oh, my goodness, let me throw the dress on. Right. And I can't figure out how to put the dress on. Oh, God. And I, try, I tried it on, for real. Okay. And so we're figuring out trying to put the dress on. And then from there, for some reason, 
It's not working. So it's not going on. And this is the dress that you're wearing for your performance at the Sugar Bar. The dress that I'm wearing for my performance Ouch. at the Sugar Bar to em- to embrace the legend herself, right, Valerie right. Simpson. You so got to You got to look. You, you already sound good, Candace, but you got to look good. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. So. You know, it's it's everything. So we can't figure out how the dress goes on. We can't figure out should the girls be this way or should they be another way? <laughs> and the so, girls just had two different opinions. The girls were just, you know what I'm oh, saying? They God. were doing their own thing. Oh. And they weren't cooperating in any way. <laughs> so <laughs> So did you end up just picking another dress? No, 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 no. Okay. I refused. Okay. I know. I said this was this is, this the, is dress. the dress. Plus you didn't have time anyway. Yeah. Exactly. Right, that was right, another thing. Right. So eventually, just because I guess I just kept praying and just saying, God, please, you know, I want to wear this dress. Right. You know, this dress is meant. And miraculously, a twist, a turn, voila, it comes on. Wow. You zip it up and we're out. That's a great preclusion uh, to such a great evening. That's the truth. Uh, just a horrific malfunction happening before one of the most pivotal moments of your music career. It almost looked like it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. The way that the dress was not working, I couldn't figure out, like, does it turn this way? How did I even put it on? How did I even try it on? Wow. And and everyone was like, well, did you try it on before you left? Yes, I tried <laughs> it on before I left. Wow. Yes. Last time I saw you uh, was in the city of Philadelphia. You won an award there. What has it been like for you to be an award-winning performer? Because you've uh, racked up uh, more than a few uh, statues and trophies and plaques in your career, and 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 rightfully so. What does it feel like when, when you get another when you get another award? You know, that was a special time mm-hmm. to be in Philly yeah. to win a Song of the Year, yes, you know, Emmy Award. Before I left that city, mm-hmm. before I was on the plane mm-hmm. to depart, Yeah, I get another notification that Trying to Be Perfect is the song of the year wow. with Pop Magazine. Damn. And I'm like, it up for but that. get this, yes. so Carrie, I, was, I didn't know if I wanted to look or not. I see this notification. I'm like, do I want to know? I do and I want to know. <laughs> do I want to get on the plane and be mad the whole right, time I'm right, flying right. back home? Yeah. I do I want to know? It's like, I want to know. Yeah. So <laughs> I opened it up and I'm like, no way. Wow. We won. We won. Because you know who also was in the category? Shaka Khan. Right. Ouch. Yes. And my another idol, another yes. person that I, you know, admire. Yeah, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame receiver this year. Recipient. Yes, yep, yes, yep. sir. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking... There is no way I have a chance. Mm-hmm. I'm like, did her fans not know? It's like, <laughs> is that a mishap? Yeah, it- wow. So I'm so thankful. So it was a, it was a uh, double uh, award-winning weekend That's with the awesome. Emerald Award along with the Pop Magazine Award. I've known you for a long time now, a couple of years, and I've listened to your music, and we've played every song that you've ever sent us. Y- yes, you have. And there's something to be said about your voice's uh, ability to just take charge of a song the musicality is always dope but your voice always in my opinion as a person who's listened to you for a while your 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 voice always seems to command the song you know what I mean? that's just i mean not just because you can sing but because of your texture your delivery it's 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 just like it, it really says you know what you're gonna hear me before you hear those instruments yeah. what are your wh- who are some of your favorite songwriters well, of course, Valerie Simpson. Of course. <laughs> I killed, yeah. <laughs> for, for, to start off with. Right. But you have Valerie Simpson. You have, um, you know, the Natalie Coles. Okay. The Aretha Franklin. You know, yes, when you ma'am. look at their art, their work, uh, their way to interpret a song. And I believe that that is the way, the reason why I perform the way that I do. Mm-hmm. Because of the way that they interpret a song right. you know and the way I'm also a songwriter so when I write I write in the present as if I'm speaking to you about the situation right. as if it's happening you're telling a story I'm telling a story right, exactly. and I believe that I'm thankful that you say that you're saying what you're saying because that is my goal to where when someone hears me sing mm-hmm. that they feel like that I'm sharing that experience with them yeah the best I think the best songs 
um, the, the most long-lasting songs by some of my favorites, Madonna, Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson, Prince, Stevie Wonder, um, Earth, Wind & Fire. The, my favorite song, Patrice Russian, my favorite songs from those artists mm -hmm. usually are the most personal. Oftentimes, the most painful for the artist to sing, write, and perform. Yes. But that's when you really feel where they're coming from. Exactly. And, and that's why another um, uh, legend that I admire so much is Phyllis Hyman. Absolutely. And that's, so underrated. And you know. Uh, yes. And you know, uh, I played her in the play Stairway to Heaven I didn't in, know that. in Philly. Yes. Just um, wow. last year. And her family attended mm -hmm. the event and they brought her jacket. Now, I'm not going to share what my height is right. because that's not important. Right. Because you don't have to have a certain height to be a singer. Right. Right. So, but if you compare my height to Phyllis's height, there's, there's a, a difference. There is a difference. Yeah. But, but more importantly, what was, what, but before we go to our next music break, what was it like to perform Phyllis in Philly in front of her family? And in her jacket. Because like? we put the jacket on. Okay. It was amazing because mm. I understand her. I understand what she's singing about. Yeah, yeah. I know what it's like to be hurt. I know right. what it's like to want to be in love. Yeah. I know mm -hmm. what it's like to be so passionate about something, and then you want to get that that feeling and expression out there, but maybe people don't know how to grasp it. So I, I can uh, I can relate. Shout out to uh, to, to to her family. I, I'm such a huge Phyllis Hyman fan, and I, I wish I could have saw that play. But we're gonna. We, we, uh. You gotta, I don't know, we have to do it over or something. <laughs> but let's get into this music break, and uh, I will have more with my treasured, esteemed guest, Miss Candace Woodson, in the next hour. Are you going to hang out with me? Of course. Okay. I wouldn't dream of leaving. Okay. We just uh, listened to two. I just, I'm such a fan, so, I mean, it's not even fair for me to, to comment. So what I'm going to do is um, I'll leave my comments for the end because they're all of praise. And we're going to go around the room, and we're going to see what the brothers think of Candace Woods and the music. We'll start uh, with Midas Touch. Mr. Michael Catlow Cox, uh, a, a, a extraordinaire when it comes to his uh, accolades, but a DJ also. What did you think, Mr. C? What did you think about Midas Touch? Louder, louder. The whole time. And I visualized you just sing it right in my ear. No music. You just took me to bed. You woke me up. You rolled me over. And I just said, that's what it's supposed to be about. Music to the ear. I can say no more than that. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Kevon Merrill, what did you think about um, Midas Touch? Midas Touch was I think that what really struck me with Midas Touch is the is the synergy between the title and the song. I just yes. went with the beautiful. I think that Midas Touch is a great name for that song. I could I would pick it out of a lit playlist, knowing exactly what I'm gonna get, and I love what I got. I just like Midas Touch. I feel it. Andre Jones. It's always important to know what the uh, working DJ's doing. What you think? I think I'll be using that in the one of those groovy R&B sets I start with sometimes. It fits nice. It's that grown and sexy vibe that actually has been missing for a while and not for nothing. You sound like the in-law. Yes. Yeah, unlike a lot of your contemporaries now. You sound like you're in love. I like that. Gordon Taft, what did you think of Midas Touch by Candace Woodson? Uh, I, I thought it was groovy. I say that feels like a feels like a throwback. I say that word a lot, but you know this this is even more of a throwback than some of the last few songs we've gotten. Yeah, I, I love it. It's, uh, it's very kind of seventies, but it, it's, I think it's amazing. Yeah, it's 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 it's, jazz, it's jazzy. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we, we we also got to hear "Trying to Be Perfect," uh, originally uh, composed by Valerie Simpson. Um, Mr. C, what do you think? Oh yeah, okay. I have to say it out loud. The whole, the rhythm, the way that the arrangement went down, mm. everything fits perfectly. 
and then when you hit the high at the right place, you hit the low at the low place, and then you hit it right in the middle. This is how music's supposed to be set up. Not just, I'm always up here all the time, or I'm always down here, but you went to all three levels, and I have to commend whoever did the arrangement is on point. Kevon no Merrill, what did you think of, uh, what's the, uh, the specific title? Trying to be perfect? Yes, trying to, and she sure does. Trying to be perfect. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that, I think that what really strikes me with songs like this is the is when it resonates, when it's really like, when it's, I feel the vibrations of the music sort of within me, and it's whenever you're extending those notes, it's like it just, I just feel it, and I love how that feels, just that, whoa, I'm, I'm all going on a ride with the song, when it's vibrating within me, so I love that. <laughs> trying to be perfect. It struck me. Andre Jones, originally composed by uh, Valerie Simpson and Nick Ashford, correct? Um, what did you think about this Honest, remake? Honestly, I've never heard the original, but I can say this. I'm using this. I love it. it it's a great callback. It's a great cover. And if you got the co-sign for Valerie Simpson, I mean... Right. I mean... what? The, our uh, opinion doesn't even matter. And, and honestly, the only DJ in here that could really comment on this already did and that's Mr. C himself I know I love it I know I'll be using it don't worry I'll tag you when I do last but not least Gordon Tapp what did you think about Trying to Be Perfect a remake by Candace Woodson actually we're listening to the music players we were talking what did you think I, I really loved it. Uh, I love the I love the disco aspect of it. Um, yeah, it's it's funny because like a lot of times when like a lot of people incorporate like older like genres into their work, they always blend it with something else. Not to say that's a bad thing, but I like how this is like very much something that felt like it could have come straight out of that time directly. It's it was amazing. Yeah, and just wonderful dynamic vocals. It was, it was amazing. And I'm just gonna close out by saying that uh, Candace, I love your music. This doesn't change my opinion. If anything, it only uh, gives me more reason to celebrate uh, the, the, the soulfulness that you give in your music and the musicality is intense in the work. Uh, it, it's, it's clear that you put a lot of work into uh, rhythm arrangements, uh, delivery. What was it like for you recording uh, Midas Touch? You know, Midas Touch, when I recorded it, I said, I want to keep the, the listener to where they won't leave until the song is completely over. Amen. And that was my goal okay. because I wanted every part to have something to where they would wait to find out what was next. Mm -hmm. And that's what that was the goal in doing the song. And I felt like that it was achieved. I really do because it has so many different elements. But I also said when we when we out dancing, having a good time, what is it that we do? Right. We say, hoo, hoo, right. and that was like, I said, where can I put that in? And when I put that in, I knew, okay, now I have something that everybody can relate to. And I know you were trying to be perfect when you recorded trying to be perfect, but very quickly before we go into our uh, uh, mix with Andre Jones, can you tell us, were you, were you a little nervous when you recorded that song? Oh, Carrie, you're right. I was not, not a little, I was very nervous. Mm -hmm. Because to come behind the legend, Valerie Simpson, right. And to hear her work, right, and then to try to do it justice, right, but at the same time try to find my own individuality, my own personality, and I'm gonna tell you, I had an out of body experience. Mm. I can't tell you what I did that day. Wow! I just went in and I just did it, and then when I received it back from the you know producer and the engineer, and they say here it is, I'm like I did that. I don't, I don't know what happened. I just went in and just took that song because I can relate. Because we're in a time to where whatever you do sometimes doesn't seem like it's enough. Right, yeah. But trying to be perfect stands out to let everybody know that you are perfect. Right. You are good. You don't need anybody else to seek their opinion. Your validation. To, your validation. Yeah. Or seek their opinion of who you are. Well, i got to say this and I'm going to close out. A very good friend of mine and a very good friend of the show, Melissa Morgan, I asked her once upon a time, what did Prince say when he heard uh, your version of Do Me Baby? And she told me, Prince said to her, Melissa, you made it your own. So sometimes you can take somebody else's work and just make it your own. And I'm 
I, and, and, and you, sister, have definitely done that. Really quickly, let everybody know where they can uh, get in contact with you on social media and where they can purchase your music. Yes. Oh, thank you. Candace Woodson, C-A-N-D-A-C-E, Woodson, W-O-O-D-S-O-N. Go to www.candacewoodson.com. You know, check us out. Be my friend on all the social networks. Uh, we have Facebook. We have Instagram. We have LinkedIn and everything. In, and Twitter. It's Candace Woodson, but that's Candace with an A. Yes. And then also, you can download my music on every digital platform that there is. And we do have some hard copies of the very original Desire. So if you want those, we can get those to you too. Okay. But, uh, you know, everywhere the music is, is displayed or, or digital, you can find it. We're out there. Oh, no, on YouTube. Go to YouTube. Check out all my videos too. Yes. And you had a gift for me, right? I have two gifts. Oh, wow. I, I have the original Desire Project. And and I also have the Tap Tunes card, which I'm now signed with Tap Tunes, and it is the new innovative, innovative, innovative way of music right now. Check that out. Just tap it this and is it plays. Dope. Okay, I yeah. appreciate this. We're gonna definitely. Oh my God, this is. And I get to put a picture of Candace on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> Candace on a wheel, show you just what you were made of.